Hi guys, it's Anastasia here from Personal Shopper London. I'm also Anastasia Finds on Instagram. I wanted to go to the shops and find you the best fitting jackets and blazers and show you what's in the trend. So I'm having a shorter version of this video for you here just so you can see everything and only detail on the clothes. If you want um, a bit more chatty and long video, please check out my other style channel. I hope you enjoy watching this. Please give me a thumbs up to support this channel and don't forget to subscribe. I I also post my findings in a chat option on the Instagram. If you subscribe, you'll see my finding first when I find them, when they're still available in the shops, because these videos come out a bit later and sometimes things get sold out in your size. So if you like my curation, make sure you subscribe in the... I'm gonna have a crumbie and I'm gonna try a few blazers, strange coats and other coats that are here available. This is a trench coat. I like the color. It's not too pale for deeper dark skin tones. It does have four buttons though. I usually don't like two buttons. I usually just like one, but this is nice and cohesive. They are proportioned really nicely around the midsection. Actually, they'll not make you super like long at a torso. Just try. I like the material. It feels quite expensive, like a cotton uh, material. I haven't been to Burberry for a while to just compare it to the proper Burberry coat. I guess I should go. I like this detail at the back. It's kind of like long-ish, not super oversized. A slight roominess has the belt on as well. Nicely spacious side pockets on the sides. Inside nylon lined. Some spare buttons on the side. Uh, also same one in black same one in black. Honestly, uh, the fabric, the composition that fit feel much more better than the other stores at the high street where they really cut corners. I really like it open as well. It doesn't have too much shininess, very matte material. I wonder if it's going to be quite stain resistant or not. So same proportion. I think black is a very chic option for the, for the trench coat. wool compositioned blazer has synthetic and also some wool inside. I really like the cut, although I do always say I don't go for two buttons. This looks alright. I like the texture of the fabric. It looks like it's not gonna become bobbly shortly. It's really nice and dense, making it really warm option for winter season. Also proportion wise, I'm trying to show you the full look. I'm not really tall. I am medium height as 5.7 and it does not cut me in a really unflattering manner which I always like. Uh, the pockets are placed uh, right at my hip bone so it is being slightly oversized, not overly sun. So it is slightly oversized but not overly so. I would definitely wear the grey if I had the weather and occasions to do it. For the grey one, I was wearing a small size, not extra small. They didn't have an extra small. Next one, this is the black blazer. I see it's cut uh, slimmer to the waist, so slightly hourglass shape. The pockets are closed, but I really like when they have them. Uh, this is an extra small single button. Really, really lovely fit. Just try it. I like when these uh, things are open on the bottom because I feel like they're creating Always better proportion. It's probably not as versatile as a more roomy oversized blazer, but still a very good option. A very smart cut one, and I think we're going back to the to this classic proportion. Again, I really like the detailing and the placement of the button. Other things I love, the denim jacket. This one comes oversized. I also like the fitted one at the H&M. Oh, you'll see it in the next. You'll see it later in that video. Wearing a size extra small and this is a medium kind of wash. Light wash, but it's actually done like in a way that it looks very much vintage. -y. I wouldn't say it's new, but I would think that it's a vintage item. Slightly roomy at the back, but doesn't have these uh, fastening that will make it a bit tighter if needed. Leather look puff coat 
in this instance, it's a cropped uh, buffer jacket in a leather look. Oh my god, it's so soft and velvety inside uh, all the pockets. I didn't expect that. Uh, wearing a size uh, small, they didn't have an extra small. Probably would go for extra small. This also comes slightly, slightly roomy. With an item like that, it's easy to add some texture to your winter wardrobe to pair it with all blacks for a very nice casual look. The last item in my Abercrombie creation is this cardigan. It's black, it's a relaxed fit, but it has the similar fit to those uh, jackets that are trendy right now. Uh, it's cropped. I like that the buttons are darkened black metal, not gold, not silver. Matching it really, really nicely. But the composition is acrylic and viscose. It's really, really soft, not itchy at all. A slightly roomy sleeve and a long sleeve that I like. The long armed girls, the size that I'm wearing is extra small. H&M shop up. I'll be trying a few trench coats, a few bumble blazers. I love this one the most. This is I'm not sure about, but I'm gonna give it a try. And our glass shaped. I get it. The other blazers that I did try, the our glass shaped, are gonna be in the inside after this one. Pigeon out trench coat, six buttons, a lot small roomy, same size, extra small. Uh, the fabric is a bit more shiny, uh, the color is lighter. Also, quite a nice and light material. Slightly silky finish. On the back, uh, it has a little skirt as well, or how it's called a peplum. I did like the idea of having just full buttons. I think it was really flattering for the body, but this probably is uh, more practical and makes you warmer. Although I think I would love to have my trench coat a bit roomier, so maybe I would go for a small. I feel like because it's not super roomy, the waist doesn't look as snatched. So, uh, so that might solve the issue. I thought it was the same coat, but different color, but I now see that it's not the same coat. It's much more roomy and it does have eight buttons. On the contrary, also size extra small. The fabric is... Oh, the lining makes me feel really nice and it feels good against the skin. And it's soft, matte finish. It's not as shiny. Very edgy design, I'd say. But if, uh, if it was me, I would remove a couple of buttons. Uh, especially the the very bottom one, but I don't know, maybe that makes sense to others. Definitely roomier than the previous one. It doesn't have any detail of platform at the back, and uh, with the belt on, it does feel nice, like a uh, like a robe that you would use for you know getting dressed. Uh, this is the fabric, how it looks like, uh, and I'll show you the total look. This is a type of um, trench coat that you will wear with uh, your uh, leggings, with things that are edgy, slightly oversized. Oh my god, I actually love this. I think I love it. I do, and I now I understand why they added uh, the whole eight buttons thing because it does make it into a longer skirt and it doesn't seem to ruin the proportion. And the other trench coat is actually made like a pea coat but in a trench coat like material. I would imagine it to be more for the curvy or for smart dresses. It does have a lot of buttons so nice accented uh, front in here. That creates a beautiful line around your face, which is actually quite lovely. That's what you're looking for. Definitely more statement feel about this trench coat. And the material is more stretchy, like very, very stretchy, more nylony, not as mud, but it doesn't have any sheen. Nice roomy pockets. Clean and sleek back. I would say it's the most classy option at the moment, I guess. But at the same time, it might feel a bit old Scottish on some people. And this one I shared with you in my chat because I really, really, really like it. It's so cute. I even measured it uh, to know the exact measurements. So maybe in future I'll try to grab something like this off of uh, the Steer Collective. My idea to have something similar but designer and uh, better quality like a vintage Celine or Chanel or maybe have something out with some other brand and have it altered. This is a really good alternative but so you don't need to understand that it is a H&M. It does look really really pretty. It also comes in blue. I 
think it should be out already on the UK and US website. I'll have the link. So, so cute. It's Tweety and it's Rumi and it's just I did have like similar blazers in the past and I, I always buy them and I wear them for a season but then I wear something else as well. I'm wearing more black today but it looks really good with denim. Like if you saw me styling it with denim, it maybe it was not an amazing picture but the, it looks really really good. With a blue denim or a darker one. Let me do the buttons up. Buttons are up! Starting to stick out and go in front of it, which I don't like, so it open. To where it open would be more clever, I guess. I guess it's cut in a curvish, curvaceous way to make it look a bit more designer. The last one in my creation, it is grey. It's kind of tweedy, very, very easy wearable. I would wear it with uh, like any items that I already have that are not beige or gold. And now uh, what I already have my zip up bomber jacket. I'm into <laughs> button up ones because I think that it just looks so chic, so easy, uh, easy going. Very easy with any white top, any white t-shirt, with the skirt, or with any shade of denim. Feels so nice. I wanted a jacket from Zara Sale. Maybe I'll actually opt for this one instead. Those it will serve me the same. Like getting cold inside the malls basically. Yes, I'm gonna wear my heels to the kids pick up. But actually, I'm wearing my new new shoes here so I can change because later we're going to the mall and uh, I just get really tired of wearing heels the whole day. But I can wear for like maybe three hours. Yeah, I guess I'm putting this one on my wish list. <laughs> it's a bit longer though than the other one, laser, but it's it's more practical option, a lot more wearable, I guess. Here guys is the insert of another trip that I did to H&M. I was with my little one so I decided to record it with a voiceover. They had really really cute denim jackets. I love this one because it's like medium shade. It has a really good balance of looking a bit vintagey but being on point and quite modern, quite feminine. It's not oversized and it fits really well it has small buttons it's easy wearable and i think it's going to be fun to wear it with a lot of black things black trousers and classic things that you usually wear for work including a shirt or plain t-shirts i thought they come in two different shades but maybe it was just a variation of the same denim because on a website the other colors that they do is a white and black so for the blue it was just one color I tried both, they seemed a bit different, but actually they seem to be the same. It fits nicely on the back, it has really good proportion, it makes your torso not so long. And it also is not super fitted, so if you wanted to line it with a hoodie to make it a bit warmer, you can totally do that. Uh, this is an hourglass shaped blazer. It's light brown, has small amount of texture, and it has this cute belt that goes with it. On the website it's called a tie belt blazer. I love this tie element because it's kind of make it more special. I really don't like wearing blazers or with the um, external belt that doesn't come with it because it doesn't usually look effortless and it's kind of hard to take a blazer off and then it's awkward to put the belt back. I love that they added this little tie belt. Um, it looks effortless and I love the proportion. The color is brownish gray uh, and it has a little texture for interest. You can see that it both will go well with brown trousers if you have them and it looks nice with a grey tank top. And this is how it looks without a tie and when the button is up. You can also tie it on the back and make your waist really snatched if you wish to do so. That's how I'm doing it, I'm gonna show it to you on the back. Another blazer that I tried is like very very slim fitted and this was the smallest size I had, I think a size UK 6, maybe I should have gone for 8 because I'm a bit wider in a shoulder. Uh, on the website it looks very chic and it's the type of blazer that you can wear with nothing underneath if you just want to have that 
you know um outfit where you have a very deep v-neck and you're not gonna open it this is the blazer to go for i'm surprised to see that a fitted and more hourglass shapes are coming back because i think i like them i'm a bit over the super oversized blazers and at least for me they never work this other blazer is a really really cute it has this more wintry texture that looks good on many people looks really really smart also an hourglass shaped blazer but this one is a lot longer and it also has a buttons on the side i like how streamlined it looks very nicely pointed shoulders there is no detail uh, on the back unfortunately but still i think it's it's kind of a good option here you can see it with all buttons up it makes it into very smart fitting blazer like a coat and i think for any outdoors event it would look really really gorgeous i would even wear it to some like special event a winter wedding with some special trousers maybe a brooch with some cute bag you can also add some color color would work nicely if you add like a maybe a bit of lilac or something like bright pink this could work with this texture i'm zara i'm gonna skip the sale and just look at the things that could be your investables for the seasons and years to come uh so first i have is this pink coat it's blue pink blue bright blue has a really nice fabric and uh, the composition is 75 percent wool it does have even like the label from the wool factory i think i love this detailing and i can see that across all of the stores um they use of a blackened metal um, it's really common or it's something that i reach for because I think that's something that suits me. Very interesting details here. All the closures are definitely equestrian inspired. Emma's like uh, the cute, really cute shape for this coat. It's like an A shape. I'm trying to walk out and show you this beautiful look. Shops are adding nice touches to the garments on the inside. This one has an inside leather piece on the pocket, so you feel it and you feel like it's more premium, I guess. This is maybe the new way to sell. Another big coat, shorter version, also navy, extra small. I thought it's a cute play of the proportions in here. And the sleeve is very, very dropped, which is not to everybody's liking, but I think it might look cute open. A classic fit of a side coat in a very similar composition, similar color. I don't really like when the bottoms are placed in like this. In this case, they're a bit lower than the upcoming coat, but I guess it's the center of the garment, so it's gonna be the focal point. Classy jacket that everybody is kind of wearing now. Tweedy finish, but not tweed exactly. At first, I didn't like it so much. A hanger, it's not really my style, but in navy, it might work. I feel like it's a little bit busy for what I usually do wear, but it's the really the classic one that they have. They also do have the khaki. I wanted to try both, but I just want to minimize my efforts in this video. Sorry, um, but in this outfit as well, uh, the navy makes more sense. They also do have it in black. I like the navy and black, and this is another option to add for springtime. They kind of look more timeless than the edgy one that I did show you in H&M but I think I still prefer and that option. Uh, I'm a more like edgy kind of dresser. The next two options I have here are more high tech and maybe good for traveling options. I like when fashion meets technology, so why not to try them? Very cute looking puffer. It's like a drill puffer with a neoprene sleeve. I'm not sure how much warmer it will 
make you. It is not super fitted though, but it can be uh, tightened up with the elastics on the sides. It's really, really chic. Uh, I actually love, love, love it. I'm good alternative to your fashion pieces or non-fashion pieces. I'm more like a non-fashion fleece kind of girl. I like adventure style. This is really so chic. Impressive. This is what it would do if it's really cold, pulls it up, puts it on the sides, nice and cohesive, very well proportioned. I'm wearing the smallest size, extra small, and it still like, doesn't fit too much tight sleeve. The next one is this one, uh, probably is not my color, which we'll doesn't go with what I'm wearing. <laughs> Uh, apologies, but it looks like a ski kind of material coat with slight padding. Uh, it does also have elastic bands that you can have things tightened up. It's just like a puffer, but more fashiony and with better proportions. And the hood, like if you would like that sporty style. A good side pockets, but don't I have pockets here for the key, so not very, very much like professional <laughs> uh, ski option. I guess it's just like a travel option. What I don't like about the items because they're probably not going to be very versatile, but with the fashion week, it's something that you can wear, I guess. I only just saw this one, I think it's really cute, the vintage style um, aviator leather jackets are in uh, this the code if you need it. I hope you guys loved my curation. Please check out my Instagram for outfit inspo and I have an Instagram chat in there where I put some of my finds as soon as I find them because my videos take a bit longer to make and sometimes things get sold out when a video is out. I hope you loved it as well. Please give me a thumbs up to support this channel and don't forget to subscribe.